welcome, welcome! This is Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. Sort of. So, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna kinda give you a behind the scenes look at how I put my videos together. I am by far not the best video editor. I've learned everything by, you know, kind of doing it myself, I'm watching YouTube videos, etc. Um, right now, my main video editor is Windows Movie Maker. As you can see, this is the old version from 2012. Now, I am currently also learning two other video so editing softwares, um, but I'm really kind of more focused on one at the moment, and that's DaVinci Re Resolve 16. Uh, it's a free piece of software that you can get. Um, they also have a paid version, which is quite expensive. Uh, gives you a few more options, but you can do everything you need really in the um, free version. Uh, I use Windows Movie Maker right now instead of DaVinci Resolve because I'm much quicker using it. Uh, I can I can get things knocked out a lot faster. Hopefully, you'll see that in this video. And maybe in the future I can bring you a DaVinci Resolve 16 video uh, where I show you something similar as far as video editing and, and how I put my videos together. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So I've got Movie Maker here. Um, I don't have any of the information for you where to download it. Maybe I can try to find that and put it in the description of this video. And I'm filming this live, or I'm doing the narration live. So I apologize if there's some hiccups, but uh, let's let's see what how we can get this going. So the first thing we're gonna do when you open up Movie Maker, it'll either pull up the last thing you worked on, or uh, it'll it'll pull up this screen here. Um, you can adjust the preview screen whatever size you want. I like a nice decent size so I can see everything going on in my video that I've put together okay uh, you have several tabs and more tabs will appear as we go I know that sounds crazy but trust me uh, you've got the home tab which has everything that you would use to start out like adding videos music webcam video narration you can take a snapshot of whatever is on this tile um, you can do titles captions and credits and then these are some quick options for different things like titles here. You can rotate the video left or right. You can remove certain portions of it. You can share your video on all these different sites, sign in, save movie, etc. Uh, of course, you can paste a video on there. You've got the undo button and then the redo button. Uh, you have home, which has all this, which we just talked about, animations which we'll kind of go into those as well. Uh, visual effects, I will go into those fairly early. Your project, we're gonna emphasize narration because I'm narrating. Uh, you could emphasize the video itself, which I would do for like a gameplay video. Um, if you're emphasizing music, it's because you, know, you want it music heavy. Or you could put no emphasis. Um, I don't know exactly how to fit to music button, Okay, there you go. It automatically adjusts the duration of photos so the movie and music end at the same time. Which I could kind of briefly touch on that as well. Uh, then you also have your audio mix, um, which would more or less play into all this stuff here. And then you could go with whatever aspect ratio you want. Uh, the view tab has thumbnail resize, waveforms, which waveforms can pretty be pretty cool to view. It'll show you everything like when I'm talking here, it'll shove the waveforms for it, uh, which my narration right now is going to be kind of separate than the video narration. I do all my video recording using OBS right now, um, like my in-game footage. I'm using OBS right now as we speak. So, let's move into the very first step. You need a video. You can either click here, which I'll show you right now, and this is my intro video, so or part of it. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and place that there. Um, very quick load time because it's a very quick video. So I can't 
just click over here to add another video. I could right click and add videos and photos, or I can do it up here. Um, so I am actually going to go pick out a video. Let's see. So I did these two videos yesterday. Just long clips. So they've already been loaded in the system because I've done this a couple of times to unsatisfactory results. But these videos would take quite a while to load in. So just keep that in mind that the longer the video, the longer it's going to take to load in. It'll be like a, a loading progress bar down here. When I add in my next clip, which will be my outro, uh, you'll see that it may load for a second. Well, actually, no, it's already loaded in the buffer as well. So this down here allows you to zoom in or to zoom out on your videos. If you wanted to, like this is a smaller clip, so it makes it easier to separate the clip in there. You can also move forward and backward in the video using this bar here or you can grab this bar here and move forward and backward it's a little more precise to use this one if you ask me um, but some people might want to use that one you can also just click to a spot and it'll clip or click to a clip so, there you go I use a super ultra wide monitor by the way so I've had to kind of condense this uh, window so that you guys can see it. Um, it wouldn't make any sense for me to show it to you on a super ultra wide because <laughs> the, when it, whenever I post it to YouTube it would look extremely crazy so as far as resolutions and stuff. Alright so right now we have four videos in here. I've got my intro, I've got this super long first clip and this not quite as long second clip so what I like to do first is I'm gonna click on this video here I can click anywhere here to do what I want to do and under video tools here at the top I'm gonna click edit and I'm gonna go to video volume and turn the volume all the way down because I'm planning on narrating over the top of this video so that's what I'm gonna do and I need to do this on both videos because I don't want any of the background of the actual video coming through right now so I'm gonna just lower the volume on it completely okay so the next thing I want to do is I want to speed this video up because you guys don't need to see all this the important part is when I get to my destination is obviously going to be down here, which I can put quickly down here. See this? Oops. See, I'm still traveling through space. There's Bezdek. a lot to this video. It's, this is a long video here, so we are getting closer to where I want to be. Okay, so I think right here is where I want to slow the video back down. So what I need to do is separate this portion from this portion of the video. So I need to separate them. I can do that two ways. I can either go up here and click the split button, or I can right click, which is my preferred method because it's right there in the panel, and split. See how it created two different videos? So instead of having four total videos, I now have five. Okay? So, let's work with this first portion first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to actually create a visual effect. And the visual effect I like to do is the fade in from black. As you can see, you can change all sorts of visual effects right here under the visual effects tab. And hover over it, it will kind of show you those visual effects. This is the one I want, the fade in from black. So when I hover over it, it shows it fading in from black. So it's kind of almost like a seamless transition. 
Um, and I've decided, you know what I want to do, uh, since I like to talk to you guys in the front of the video, I am going to put in, I don't know, let's put in a few seconds here, and I'm going to put another split. And then from here to the rest of this video, I'm going to speed up. But if you notice, since I already put in a fade from black, it also put it on this clip here. So I have to actually go back and remove that. I need to make sure I'm on the right clip. And then I need to go up and remove this transition by putting no effect. Okay. So now I, I just have two clips here. What I want to do on this one is speed it up. So I'm going to go to video tools, edit. And then under speed, I'm going to put it on 16 times. Now notice when I put it on 16 times, the clip goes from being, you know, a couple pages long here to being one row more or less. Because I sped it up by 16 times. Now if I go down here, that second half of the clip, it'll it'll inherit the properties of when uh, of the first clip, which was the video volume being all the way down. And I'll show you again how that works with music later. So here we have the first portion of the clip where I plan on talking to you guys, the second portion of the clip that is sped up, and then we'll just kind of go through this whole process. Now when I get here, I'm going to create another break. Again, you can do that by clicking the split or right clicking. I usually right click, but it works the same if you click it up in the, the bar up at the top. Why am I doing this? Because I want to speed it up again. You guys don't need to see, you know, 20 minutes of video of this. So I am going to go down here until I find a good spot, which pretty much is going to be when I land here. So my, all the way to my second clip. So what I'm going to do is speed up this portion as well, 16 times. And you notice, our clip's already gone down by, uh, what, 15 minutes, almost? So, we're making a big difference here in the how the length of the video. We're not done. So, I'm actually, I don't want to have this clip be the same speed. So, I, I'm going to actually slow it down, or speed it up as well. Because what's important is going to be near the end of the clip, when I show you the terminal interaction. So when we get here, I think I will split right here. And on this video, I will speed it up to 16 times as well. And you can see now we're down to four minutes on this video. We took a almost 30 minute long video and we have trimmed it down to four minutes by speeding it up. I haven't actually trimmed any parts of the video. Um, what I would do here at the end of this video this is all normal speed here, but when this is over, I'll do some ex exiting narration, I guess you could say. And what I want to do is create a transition between this and this. I can do that by going to animations, and as you can see, by hovering over, it'll show you the different animations that it'll do. There's a lot of them in Windows Movie Maker. This is the seamless, I guess, what do they call it? The blur, okay? And this is blur through black, which would be appropriate here, except for the timing on it is not ideal. So what I might want to do this time is go and use one of these transitions. I'm not sure I want to do that for this one as well. I'm not happy with the speed of those transitions and that's one of the negatives of this piece of software is you can't alter the speed of the transition. So maybe I'm going to use that one. As you can see it's added this little bar here that is a transition okay so at the front of these these are sped up so it has this little icon saying that we added something to it this one has the visual effects 
okay. It says effects fade from black. If I go and hover over this, it says 16 times speed. So it tells you everything that's been done to each individual clip here. So let's say I wanted to add a picture. I could go in and click on add videos and photos and put a picture in and it would automatically have a time set to it. You could change the time. Let's say I actually wanted to add a title. So let's add a title. Um, and we can do different effects for how the title comes in. As you can see, all the different effects. I kind of like this one personally, so I think we'll go with this one for now. And Sorry about the clicking of the keyboard. So let's move this down centrally here. Another negative to this software is it doesn't have guides when you're moving things like this around. And let's change it. Do we want to go permanent marker? Eh, I'm not sure I like the way permanent marker looks there. Okay, so we can actually click here and it'll show us what it looks like. I, I think that's a little too high up. Still think it's a little high up. Okay, so let's change, change the font. I could bold it, there's no reason to bold that. I wanna change the color, so let's go in and change the color of the font. Go with a blue and then let's create an outline and put an outline let's see if, what a white red looks like yeah i'm not a fan of the light red could go with an actual red but i don't think that's going to turn out very great well, it's not too bad okay we can do that you can change the background color from black to something else. You can also change the duration of the text. I think as long as that window is open, that's fine. I could also move this, by the way. If I wanted to move it at the end, which that would not make any sense, I could move that by just dragging it. You could do that for any of your clips by dragging them around. Uh, I think I'm good with, with that title. I don't usually do the titles in my video, but we'll, we'll do it for this one. And we'll go back to the Home tab. So now what I want to do is I want to add some music. So I can do that by going to this Add Music. And here it gives you some different places you can find music online. I downloaded some earlier from YouTube Music's uh, audio files, library, whatever you want to call it. Um, I would use them if you're starting out making videos because it's really easy to get a copyright claim on one of your videos if you're not careful. Um, I've even credited videos that were free to use and gotten a copyright claim before. So make sure you make make sure you use something that you know is going to be safe and YouTube's audio. Uh, library is about the safest you can use. Okay, so you notice I can move my starting point for my music around. So, of course, I wanted to start with the actual video. Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, I want to start with the actual beginning of the video here. And something else I would like to do, you can actually change the start time this way. So if I wanted to start, let's say I wanted to start at 20 seconds, I could enter that value and it automatically move it over. You can also start it at a different point in the song. So if you only wanted a portion of the music, you could do it that way. You 
can set an end, a start point and an end point. So it's all you have a lot of different things you could do for the music. You can fade in and out, which I'll show you in a minute. One thing I've learned from doing these videos is you have to turn your music down for people to hear you. So I will turn it down not quite halfway between this middle volume and the bottom volume, but a little bit less than half. That way your music's not the, the point that everybody's listening to. It's, it's just ambiance, it's background. Some people like it, some people don't. Um, that's just what it is. Now, if you wanted to hear your video with the music, you could just go some point in there and press play, and you're gonna hear that music in there. And it's gonna play a little louder in this preview. But one of the things I like to do is notice when the music stops. So, the music stops right about here. You see there's a large portion that is still here. What I like to do, a lot of times, is just use the same music file throughout the entire video if it's any kind of the length of a video. Um, if it's a longer video, then I may use multiple things. But you can see I actually just cut and paste and moved the music file over the top here. Now again, I can move it out if I want to, or I can move it back over the top. Since that's kind of a dead uh, music area, I'm just going to leave it the way I have it now. And then I will go and add it in here as well by right clicking and clicking paste. Now you notice it goes over my outro. That's an issue because I already have music in my outro. By the way, I'm looking to do a new outro and intro. Those were just kind of temporary until I got something better. I'm not a graphic artist, so yeah, that's going to take some time. But you see the music's playing together with my outro music. And I don't want that, so what I have to do is go in and we are going to go right here and I'm going to right click and split. You can split the music as well. It will not split the video if you're clicked on the music portion instead of the video portion. So in other words, I can click on music or I can click on video. Okay, so it's, it's only going to do one part or the other. And here I'm just going to right click and remove. You remember over here on view, you can view waveforms. So that's another way to tell where the music sort of dies down. If I were to do this, you can see that it dies down there. I'm just showing you guys the waveforms and how you can tell where the music stops. So one other thing I like to do at the end of these music clips, go back to the music tab, fade out. Now I'm going to fade out at a medium pace. So let's listen to it. So what I could do here, I don't like that. I'm going to actually paste in another one. I'm going to make it go a little bit longer for this transition. So what I need to do is... Split. Sorry, I have a cat fight going behind me and then remove here, and then I'll again have to fade out. And let's listen to it again. So now I've gone too far, because you can hear it interfering with the outro music. I don't normally use this transition at the end, so what I'll probably do now is remove this transition, this uh, animation, and it should come together a little bit better. And now look at that, it added a whole portion here. So I have to go back and do this again. No, 
no big deal. Things I do for you guys. <laughs> Alright, so it's easier for me to click here, but then if I click down at music, it's only going to take me to the front of the music clip. Split, remove, and then we'll click on music and fade out. Now let's listen to it one last time. Sounds better to me. I've already got a built-in transition for this, so that's why I don't like adding another one. When I made these videos for the intros and outros, I had a built-in transition. Okay, so the next thing I like to do with my videos is narration. So I'm gonna go to the front of the actual video portion and record a narration for you guys. So I click on narration and then I only have three options here. Welcome, welcome, it's Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And I'm doing my how to make a video in Windows Movie Maker session. And this is just the, the intro narration. So once I do the narration, I press stop. And then it'll bring up this little window. You can see I've got previous narrations in here. And then I can just click on save and it shows you the narration. I can like the movies or the videos and the music. I can move the narration around. Okay. I'm going to leave that in there for now. And I, I like the way this clip is right now. Um, these are different forms of the title screen that we did. I just did a basic title. You could do something a little, uh, I wouldn't say fancy or necessary, but necessarily, but you could. Uh, you can also do captions. So let me do a caption. I want to do it right here in the video. Um, so let's do a caption. And again, you can change the color, the font. If you want to put an outline on it, you can do that. Um, I don't think we want to use black there. Let's use red. And we can move it where it's at. I don't want it there. I can put it at the top if I want. You can do all sorts of stuff. You can have it you know, pop and in. I so we can do that. As you can see, my narration. For the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And I'm doing my how to make a video. So we've got a caption in there now as well. I don't do a lot of captions. Uh, you can also do end credits, uh, you know, including crediting your soundtrack, all that stuff. Um, I don't mess with those too often either. Um, I know how to do them. They're just pointless for a lot of my videos. It just would be a distraction. Uh, so let's say we are done with this video. It's about four minutes long. I'm not gonna make you listen to the whole thing. First thing I need to do is save my movie. You could go straight to publishing it if you wanted to. I don't do that, I like to save it and then publish it after I have it saved. And I've got several different settings. These are not native settings to Windows Movie Maker. You have to kinda go in and hack a file to get 4K, Super Ultra Wide, or 1440p. Um, YouTube comes on there. As you'll see, if I look at common settings here, they've got all sorts of different settings um, for different places. There you have YouTube, and then you have my custom settings down here, or you could do audio only even. Um, I'm just going to do YouTube, and then we'll save it as... I've already got one like this, so I'm just going to save over the top of it. This will take a few minutes. So obviously it doesn't take anything special to make one of these videos. You could put B-roll in. Um, there's all sorts of other little things you can do to make this video better using Windows Movie Maker. Um, this was just basic tutorial on how I make a lot of my videos. I've learned that sometimes more is not better. Um, so I hope you guys 
have uh, no problem following this and if you want to make your own videos you kind of know how now using Windows Movie Maker. Let's see the end result here. We're just going to play the first portion of the video. So once it gets through saving or rendering, whatever you want to call it, it'll pop up with play, open folder, or close. We're going to go ahead and choose to play it. And then if you want to, you could upload it to YouTube or wherever it is that you want to post it. Welcome, welcome. It's Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And I'm doing my how to make a video in Windows Movie Maker session. And this is just the, the intro narration. So you get the idea. Um, that's how I make videos. So now YouTube can make videos as well. Maybe next time I will be able to show you how to do it in Resolve. So I'm Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy. I'll see you out in the verse.